Hello there and welcome to the Tap Forms for Mac uh, general overview video. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a basic walkthrough of kind of how to get started with the app and uh, make the most of your time with Tap Forms. So I'm just going to open the app here. And uh, if this is the first time you're using it, you're just going to have some. Uh, there's nothing really here under my forms because you haven't created any any forms yet. But if you head on over here to all forms, you get a bunch of pre-made basic uh, forms to get you started, give you some ideas on stuff that you might like to keep track of. So as you can see, you've got all your uh, your forms here, and you can uh, hide or show different sections. If you click up here, you've got uh, categories that you can edit. So if I decide that uh, these headings aren't quite doing it for me, I can edit them here and uh, create new ones. So as you can see here, I've got uh, this new category. And let's say I want my uh, garage door code form to show up in this new category. I can just click edit and then choose the category that I would like it to appear under. And now I've got it sitting right there under new category, right where I want it. And just to give you a bit of an example here, say I want to remember some bank account stuff, I might say, here's my Royal Bank of Canada. And this is maybe my checking. And because I'm not going to tell you my real bank account number, I'm going to put in this fake one. And now, I can create a new one, call it Royal Bank of Canada, account type savings, and of course my savings account number. And if desired, you can put in a website. And as you can see with this little uh, internet icon here, if I click on that, it's going to bring me straight to the RBC website. Very, very handy indeed. Close that down. Okay, so now you've kind of seen how to create some basic records. But let's say you want to create a form that is not listed amongst these pre-made ones here. Maybe I've got a, a collection of movies that I want to keep track of. So, I've got this little plus button down here, new form. And now we can begin customizing whatever sort of form we would like to create. So I'm going to say movie library let's put it under my super special new category because I went to all that trouble to create it but if I decide you know that I even want to, to create a new one I can always do that straight from here as well we can come over here and pick an icon and as it just so happens there is a uh, nice handy little movie symbol here so once I've uh, created kind of this basic new uh, form, I can come over here into the field properties, and this is where it gets very exciting. So we can begin customizing this form to show us whatever data that we want to keep track of. So let's say we want to have the movie poster. And we want that to be a photo. I can choose the thumbnail size, maybe I want it to be a nice medium size. And now that's going to be integrated into our form. And I can just start creating more fields as I require them. You can always come back in here and uh, add more if you, if you decide you need them. But for now, I'm just going to go with a movie title, which I'll keep as text. And let's say I also want to keep track of the cast of my movies. I might put that as a note so that I can hold more text in there. And maybe I want the, the cast to be listed uh, with a black label. So I can just do that right there. And then I will just add a new one for, let's say, a rating. And I can choose here the, the maximum I want them rated out of. So let's say I want to give them a rating out of 10 stars. And we can also uh, come down here, say I want this as genre and I can leave this as text and then come to one of these pre-made uh, pick lists. So then there's genre and you can see here you've got a bunch of pre-made uh, genre categories. So that's pretty handy. 
And finally, let's just say I want um, maybe a little check mark so I can say there is a digital copy. All right, so I'm just going to come and click done. And here I've got my nice little movie cat or movie library uh, form. And just like I did with the other ones, I can come here and start uh, customizing it. And I just so happen to have this photo of a movie you may have heard of. It's called the Avengers, if you were wondering. And under the cast here, you can see it's got that black label. Uh, kind of random, but I mean, you can be a little bit more um, choosy with your with your label colors. And I might just go Robert Downey Jr. And now I've got this cast here, and I'll save that. Now obviously this movie deserves 10 out of 10 stars, because obviously if you've seen it, you understand. And uh, here under genre, as you can see, we've got this little uh, label with all of our pre-made uh, genres. And so I can just select one of these, say I consider it action-adventure, uh, maybe a fantasy, and uh, of course documentary because everyone needs to know how the Avengers started. But in all seriousness, you can come in here and you can add anything you want. Say I want to have a superhero category that wasn't listed in there, you can just type it right in. And my copy does in fact contain a digital copy, so there I've got it checked. And now I've completed my form for the Avengers. It shows up over here, and as you can see, I've got the uh, icon showing up. Just a note, if you um, decide to put the movie poster uh, anywhere other than in the first spot, it will not show up. So if you want to have that icon showing up, you want to make sure the picture field is on the top. And you get it right there. And now as well, if I um, now that I've got some info in there and I can start choosing how I want this to show up. For example, under the list view fields, I might want to have three so that it starts showing my rating there. Or even four in case I want to have the genre show up. Really, it's all up to you. And as well, I can now choose here how I'd like to sort my films. So if I want to go by movie title, so there'll be an alphabetical order, or maybe I can sort them by the rating or the genre, just it all depends on what you need. All right, so as you can see, I've got a bunch of records in here now of a bunch of different movies that just popped into my head as I was doing this. And if you look here, you can see they are sorted alphabetically currently. However, if I'd like to change that, I can always come over here and edit the form and say I want to uh, sort it by the rating and I'd like it to descend. Uh, just click done. And there, you now you can see my top rated films are here, followed by my nines and my eights. However, if you happen to have a particularly large collection of movies, you can click on this little guy here, and that'll take you directly to one of those categories, whether it's your rating or the, the first letter of the title or what have you. One other way to, uh, to sort your library or your records in whatever form you have is to come up and click here, and then you get this alternate view, and you can easily just come and switch ascending or descending by title, cast, rating, you can go to genre, and as well you can easily come in here and switch up your uh, genre straight from this view. Say I decide V for Vendetta is a documentary, or I suddenly get a digital copy that has appeared in my grasp. So it's super easy to change any bit of your record from up here, or you can do it down here. As well you can uh, scroll through your movies one at a time like this. And again, all of this goes for um, any records you have within any sort of form that you've created, such as your bank accounts. You've got them here, you can sort them by the number or by account type, and you can you know, cycle back and forth between them. One other thing you'll notice here is that I still have uh, all forms selected, so it's showing me all of the pre-made forms. However, if I click back to my forms, 
as you can see, the forms that I have now edited are showing up under my forms automatically, so you can keep track of uh, any form that you have used rather than trying to scan through this gigantic list to find your important ones. So just something to keep in mind. And that's about it. So I hope this has been helpful, that you've kind of got a better idea of how to work your way through this app, and I hope you get as much use out of it as possible. It's a pretty great app, useful for a lot of things. So, um, all right, see you next time.